Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing a line painting. I've got my little uh, tool from Home Depot, this little hand painter for like the walls, corners, and stuff like that. Then I've got my paints. So I've got the gloss enamel black, dark gray, and white, and then our metallics in gold and silver. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and put our paint on the paper, and I've got some paper under it to protect the sheets underneath. Uh, but we're going to put it in lines and then we're going to scrape it with this little hand scraper and see if we can get a decent design of it. Actually, it needs a little, it's got a stiff spot on it. Let's see if I can get a better one. Here we go. I think this one's better. Okay. So let's go ahead and start putting our paint on. And again, we're just going to kind of put these little lines here. And it's not really a, a set method on how much I put where or how thick. I kind of like to just vary it so that it's, uh, you know, it, it's not uniform all the way down. So we'll put our lines. Now the reason we're doing the lines, if you haven't seen any of these videos, is so that the paint's already going to kind of run this direction anyway. So we're putting the lines so that the paint uh, doesn't really overlap. And because it's going to go this way anyway, uh, we're just kind of putting it in that direction and a little bit at the bottom okay so then we're going to put our white in here and we want that white to kind of be a separation so i tend to do white a little bit thicker than some of the other colors just because uh, the white really gets lost in a lot of these paintings because uh, the gloss enamel just it's not nice to the white. <laughs> it just uh, it gets lost. So I'll just leave it at that. All right. So then we've got that. So we'll go ahead and do our gold. And yes, I can palm the the paint can. And I really like gold, so I'll probably kind of do a decent amount of it. All right. And then lastly, our silver. Ooh, that one is heavy. All right. Now that we've got our paints on there, we'll go ahead and uh, paint it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. What do you mean most of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed? That's almost a crime. Do you want to go to jail? Ha, <laughs> I know I don't. Be sure to subscribe so you can avoid hard time. Thanks. So we're going to start, we'll start at the top. Um, the only thing I hate about starting at the top is it doesn't always spread the, the paint the best way. Wow, that actually looks pretty cool. Um, <laughs> it puts like little flecks into the paint. Um, sorry, I just thought that was pretty cool. All right, so now we're just gonna pull this little scraper through from one end to the other, without stopping. Pretty decent pressure and pull it through. And then we move on to the next line and we do it again. And it's that easy. Uh, doing this like method really creates some very simple, very modern, uh, beautiful looking paintings. The only uh, issue that I'm having right now is that this, uh, this edge right here didn't get touched. 
So, I'm going to move these aside and see if I can kind of go the other way. Yeah, and it looks like it uh, kind of pulled it the other way. So, I'm going to try to... The only... If I go over it again, uh, it could create issues where it starts to turn the painted gray. Uh, kind of like down here, that's why there's a lot of gray because those colors are starting to mix, like be done too many times. However, it drives me nuts if the design is not uniform. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over it. And that should pull a lot of that still. All right, I'll leave it alone. Okay. So, I mean, that's really it. It uh, takes almost no time at all to make one of these paintings and they look really cool. This is a very easy way to make abstract art. Again, I don't know if this works for uh, acrylic paint or not, so I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. And it looks like I actually missed kind of the bottom here. So just kind of fill that in with the paint here. And make sure we got all the rest. Yes. All right, so that is the final piece. I think, honestly, it's a great looking piece, even with the ends a little messed up. It's really not that bad. Um, but these paintings are very calming. I feel like you can just kind of stare at them and the lines are very comforting. I find that the these structured paintings, like they have the lines or you know, squares or circles or whatever, it's like, it's abstract because it really is kind of the essence of abstract. You know, it's it's lines and it doesn't get really much more abstract than simple lines. Um, and that you, you can see that kind of in uh, Picasso's abstraction picture where he has the bull and as the bull kind of becomes more abstract, uh, it just becomes more and more simplified lines. So let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy. So there is the final piece. Go ahead and take a picture of it. And go ahead and look at those little cells there with the lines. Actually, the lines look pretty good. And the top. Now you can see kind of where it broke up. This is from lifting the little painter uh, too early and then you can see the build up here because I wasn't I actually wasn't pushing down hard enough so it's like uh, that's kind of the effects of of you know that method and how you you know hold it and stuff like that uh, but that's pretty much it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed if you did let me know if you did that's cool let me know uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless. Bye guys. Stay safe.